Hi there, Toy here, and I'm back as promised. I have a quick video just to tell you a little bit about this whole countdown to con season. Now, any of you who actually go to like book fairs or comic cons and things like that know that they go year round. But for me, I have, you know, that that <laughs> that day job just kind of gets in the way of me trying to do things year round. I kind of have to plan around that. So, um, few years back I did go to a con in the fall and I felt like it totally like messed me up like I had so much trouble like getting down from that high <laughs> so I usually just do cons in the spring slash summer and so this year I'm actually doing three cons and I'm really excited about it because um, two of them I'm gonna you know really be kind of standing out which I'm gonna give you some information about and if you saw the other video that was like an update to my reading challenge, you saw this shirt and I'm wearing it for a reason. So don't go all up judge me people. This is a graphic tee from one of our local um, comic book shops, Zeno's I believe it's called. And I'm sure they're going to be at the Tidewater Comic Con. And so in these videos, I'm going to um, try to show off some of the graphic tees that I have. Some of them, you know, promoting my own work. Some of them promoting other people's work or just, you know, cool stuff. So I hope you like the shirt. Check out Zeno's. Um, so in this short video, I'm just going to give you some basic information about the cons that I'll be doing. First up, on April 7th, 8th, and 9th, I'm doing the B2B Cyber Con. That's Brain to Book Cyber Convention. And it's just like a regular con, only it's all online. So that means it's free to the public. Get in your pajamas, get online, and have some fun. And so it's going to be kind of a multi-platform thing. A lot of it's going to be happening on Facebook, but people will also be posting things to like their blogs, whatever. So you can participate as much or as little as you want, but they're going to have all kinds of events, which I'll be giving you a complete list of things that I'll be personally participating in at a later time. But just to give you an example, <laughs> there's going to be story time, and literally someone's going to be like reading your story, and then there's going to be cosplay, which I am like... <laughs> scrambling if you saw my Facebook post please help me out because I'm gonna try to do this cosplay thing uh, they're gonna be doing like booth hops and things like that and you know just all kinds of different activities that you would do like at a normal event only you don't be doing it from the comfort of your own home second up is RavenCon which will be April 28th 29th and 30th that's a three-day event so that's gonna be whew, a long weekend for me because I'm actually one of the guests this year. I'll be a panelist. And this is very exciting for me. And you know, I've attended a lot of cons and I've done some smaller panels and things like that. But this will be the first time I feel like I'm on a really big stage. And um, part of me wants to feel intimidated by it. But I mean, heck, I mean, I've never been shy of saying what I want to say. So hopefully, you know, that'll go well. I have got some things lined up for that. I'm going to be putting together a giveaway that I'm hoping will get people excited about um, attending either three of the cons and also getting to know some of the authors who will be attending those cons. So I'm hoping to, you know, get some people on board with that. And um, I'll, you know, have to give you more information about exactly what I'll be doing at that con when I get the information. And the last one that I'm going to talk about is the Tidewater Comic Con. This is the one con that I'm not really doing a whole lot for. I'm literally going to set up my table and hope people buy some of my books. But the thing that for me that's so important about the Tide Com Tidewater Comic Con is kind of where it all started for me. It's one of those things where I was going to go anyway. So why not, you know, sell some stuff? Yes, there is a difference in the ticket price. But for me, I figured whatever it costs for my vendor table, I subtract the cost of the two-day pass, and that's my actual fee because, like I said, I was going to go anyway. And um, at that point, if I sell, you know, some enough books to make back, you know, that table fee, then I basically got to attend the con for free, you know. I actually do pretty well at the cons, but, I mean, it, they're so much fun for me that, especially the Tide Con, I don't can really consider that work, so... Um, that's my quick little, you know, intro to what will be happening. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm going to be shooting some more videos giving you details about what's happening leading up to the cons. I will also be doing a separate giveaway where I will be giving a free pass to the Tidewater Comic Con for anyone that's in my local area. So, um, 
sorry if you're watching this from somewhere far away but for those who are in my local area if they want please stick around follow subscribe you're gonna find out about a chance to get a free day pass to the Kaibar Kaibar and that's my video number one for my countdown to con season and bye for now